Hey all welcome back to another day in my life. Today's video is going to be a little special. I'll take you through my day of how I shoot and edit my videos. I wanted to make an instant veg pickle at home. I realized when you make pickles at home, you can customize the taste like the tanginess or the saltiness according to your taste. Apart from it being more hygienic, it is very tasty too. Anyway, here I'm chopping veggies like carrots, radish, cauliflower, green chilies, ginger, etc. I normally shoot my videos with a tripod. At times when Parth isn't busy with work, he helps me with the shoots. We use Canon M6 Mark II with 56mm and 100mm macro lens. At times I also use a 22mm for more coverage. The toughest part is to maintain the focus and also changing angles from time to time so that the clip doesn't look boring. A lot of times I also miss switching on the record button. Imagine my plight then. I feel like crying because it means I have to redo the entire thing again. I'm going to make sirka piyaz but instead of using the small onions, I'm using a normal onion but I will slice them very thinly. Once the onions are chopped, I'll use my hands to separate each of the slices. I will also add green chilies and garlic cloves to this along with a small piece of beetroot for color. For making the pickle, I'll use 1 cup of mustard oil to that I'll add hing, 1 spoon each of methi seeds, jeera seeds, soft, nigella seeds, turmeric, red chilli powder and then I will add the chopped veggies. After mixing it well, I'll add the mustard seed powder. Mustard seeds will keep your pickle from getting spoilt and also give a mild natural tanginess at the same time. I will also add salt, 2 spoons of sugar and finish it off with some black salt. For the sirka piyaz in a saucepan, I will add 1 cup of vinegar and 1 cup of water along with 1 bay leaf, 1 cinnamon stick, 2 cardamom pots, some black peppercorns and 2 tablespoons of sugar and a little bit of salt. For storing this, I'll use the glass jar that I just cleaned. I have made a layer of onions, green chilies and garlic along with the beetroot piece for color. Then I'll add the prepared vinegar mix. Meanwhile, my pickle has also cooled down, so now I will store it in the pre-cleaned jar. I will store the sirka onions in the fridge and I will leave the pickle on the countertop. Yesterday, I washed our living room sofa covers and it dried in a day. That's how hot it is recently in Bangalore. With Zane and Jude in the house, it's so difficult to keep anything clean in the house. Zane literally climbs on the sofa with his slippers on and my OCD mind cries from within. <laughs> I'm trying to mold myself accordingly. It'll take some time though. My heart feels so happy to see anything clean, though my happiness is only momentary. As soon as my tornado returns from his play school, he is going to turn the whole house upside down.
After dropping Zane to the daycare, I take care of my professional work where I need to go out at times to work with brands. We were looking for some interior ideas for a future interior project and luckily Design Cafe, a home interior brand, invited us to have a look at their experience center. I always have this love for home interiors which makes me not miss out on these opportunities. Since Parth was anyways going that direction, I asked him to drop me to their experience center at MG Road. As soon as I reached, I was connected to a designer to walk me through their current offering and help me think about the elements I wanted to personalize. And we both started with my favorite part in any house, the kitchen. There were so many options in terms of cabinets, finishes, shades, etc. What interested me most is the use of dark theme in one of the model kitchen that really elevates the look with some proper lighting. At the same time, it's easier to maintain and clean. Some of the unique ideas in terms of creating additional storage, especially in the kitchen skirting area, really impressed me a lot. There were unique designs of overhead cabinet shutters, corner cargomen, janitor unit and an efficient pantry units are some things that really caught my eye. I went ahead and explored some of their shelving units and bedroom cabinet designs. There were a wide range of color and finish options and most importantly unique fittings that save space and adds convenience to your daily tasks. The walk-in closet is a dream for me, maybe one day when I have enough space in my future home. The living and bar area designs impressed me a lot. I have always been fond of how I would want my crockery and glassware to be stored and this area always draws my attention. By the way, I really loved the distressed look in this area. The shelving and cupboard in the living room area were very unique. I especially loved the design for this reading nook. With this tool with storage which can be tucked away when not in use, the designer told me that this design can be personalized into a crockery unit as well. There were many samples for laminates, wall rafters, quads and closet shutters to choose from. I was very impressed with their overall catalog. They offer up to 10 years of warranty on their modular installation and there are various schemes including 0% EMI which are currently running. I had an afternoon well spent. If you are also a home interior enthusiast or looking for options for your interior needs, I would suggest you look them up in the links provided in the description box and schedule an appointment as per your convenience. I have some pending plant care to complete. I got this new plant for this planter. I'm going to repot it from the plastic pot to this one. And finally, I got this gardening gloves from uh, IKEA and now my nails doesn't get spoilt while doing my gardening work. Another mini garden is ready. I'm obsessed with this cute arrangements recently. Do you remember I once spoke about how to propagate snake plants in one of my past video? So basically if you keep the stems of snake plant in water, it will grow roots over time. So now I am going to plant them in a planter. I 
I am also watering this plants here in the utility. It is getting dry very fast due to the heat. I have the spider plant which I need to hang in a better place. I got this pot from IKEA. The color of the pot matched the cabinets in this area so I grabbed it. This wood rail I got for my plants is very useful. It gives a nice look to the wall at the same time can hold so many planters. This fiddle fig has gotten so much dust on the leaves. The one in the living room accumulated dust too. My fiddle fig isn't doing very great. It has got some browning on the edges of the leaves. I'm not sure what is the problem. Anyone who knows how to care for a fiddle fig well, please let me know in the comments below. It will be very helpful. My house help told me the other day that why did I keep so many plants along with a toddler and a dog. This needs so much of maintenance and I agreed. But now since I have them already, I have to do the needful. I'm going to dust a little bit of the living room and do a quick tour with you all since a lot of you have asked for the balcony renovation details and tour. The velvety material attracts a lot of dust and this is where Zane at times eats his snack. So you can imagine the amount of crumbs it collects every day. Let's do the tour. As soon as you enter from the main door, you will see this foyer area and then on the right there is the TV. And the balcony which is now a part of the living room and transformed into a bar area. Both the show pieces on the TV unit are from a website called Elementary and the donut vase you see here is from Amazon. The artificial flower stems and vase is from Coastal Habitat and the table lamp is from our website called Whispering Homes. On the other side there is the Mandir. This wall hanging is from Amazon and the bull head is from a website called Hastkala Curators. This is how the bar area looks like now. We made this cabinet with glass door design to store bottles. There are three drawers for storage. We got these handles from a local shop here in Bangalore. This is a wine rack that we custom made to fit this area. Opposite side we have made a seating with storage underneath. This pendant light is from Amazon. We also got a mini fridge and while designing this space we made sure we leave this space for the fridge.
This is how the bedroom balcony looks after the renovation. We made a lot of overhead storage. We also put up a mini fan. This area really gets sunny in the daytime, so we put up blinds. This cabinet we made for storing the camera and equipments and the side tall partition you see is for storing tripods. We also have a drawer underneath that and a cabinet for printer and other essentials. The table is a U-shaped corner design usually seen in offices. On the opposite side I have a small two-seater sofa. We also have LED light fixtures on the border that we made. Back to the kitchen and I'm going to make an easy dessert with mango. This mangoes if you remember I have showed you how uh, you can store your mangoes in the freezer for all year round. I have soaked some sabudana overnight and now I'm going to boil them. Meanwhile, I am going to make some frozen ice cubes with mint leaves and strawberries so that I can use them in making summer drinks easily. You can also replace water with lemon juice if you want. And a quick drink will be ready in minutes to serve during summers. To the cooked sabudana, I will add 1 cup coconut milk, half cup fresh cream, half cup condensed milk and that's it. I will assemble this in a glass, then layer it with mango pulp and mango chunks. I will keep it in the fridge for few hours. Time to make some dinner. Tonight I am going to make some veg hakka noodles, some spring rolls and some chicken wings. Make sure you run the boiled noodles under cold water. This will ensure it doesn't stick to each other. For sauce, I have used soya sauce, vinegar, green chilli sauce, tomato ketchup, little bit of brown sugar, salt and pepper. In a separate pan, I am going to make the stuffing for spring rolls, onions, garlic, carrot, capsicum and cabbage. No touching phone. Who dropped my phone? To that, I will add some soya sauce, tomato ketchup, salt and pepper and a little bit of cornstarch to put it all together. I got this ready made spring roll sheets from Big Basket. Now you have to wrap it from the corner and then tuck the sides in like this and then seal it with some maida and water slurry which I forgot to capture. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's dinner almost ready. I'll quickly make us some lemonade. I'm going to use the ice cubes that I made this afternoon. I have added some lemon juice along with mint and strawberry ice cubes. Also some cucumber cut into peels and ginger ale. Oh, yeah, That's it, let's enjoy the dinner. And to be honest, life is not only roses. We just had a fight before this and look at our faces. It's so clear. <laughs> Tomorrow Kaya has some program in her school, they call it assembly where the kids have to gather and share their knowledge or perform on some topic. Kaya is going to be a butterfly in that and I have to make some tentacles for her head. I am using a fork as a base and I will wrap a colored chart paper over it. Ideally it should be in black color but we didn't have black so I am using pink instead. I just used some glue and fabricol to stuck that to a black hairband. Done with the home and other responsibilities, on to my work now. This is the time when the kids are asleep and I can actually work in peace. I take 3 to 4 days to shoot and the next few days goes in editing. I take a lot more time to edit because I get very less free time and it is very difficult to focus on these things while Zane is around. The first step to editing is to transfer the video clips from your camera to the computer. Next begins the actual edits. The first level of edit is where you have to go through the entire raw footage and select what you want to keep. The 1 minute finished footage that you see in my video is actually a 20 to 30 minute video clip. The night I have to edit I sleep late. Sometimes if Parth is free he helps me too. The last step is to do voiceover for which I use a mic. With this, let's end this video. It's the next morning and I am dressing up Kaya. I am also going to do some uh, face paint on her. I got this butterfly wings from Amazon. She wore a black top along with black leggings and wings. The face paint and the tentacles completes the look. Because I had to work on edits last night, I couldn't wake up on time and hence I couldn't make her lunchbox before she leaves. So I'm going to prepare it now and send it through Dunzo which is a porter service. I'm putting some rice and one egg to boil the first thing. I'm also steaming some broccoli and chopping some veggies required. There was something wrong with the microphone that day and no natural sound could be captured unfortunately. It was a bad day. I'm sorry for that. I have marinated some chicken pieces with salt, pepper, soya sauce overnight. Now I will add some corn flour and will cook it in a pan along with minced garlic. Then I will add the broccoli and mushrooms. To this, I'll add some soya sauce, green chilli sauce, brown sugar and corn flour.
I'm also making her some watermelon juice. I'm cutting the grapes into heart shapes. For this you have to make a diagonal slit just like this and then join it like this as you can see here and secure this with a toothpick. Here I'm making egg sandwich for her breakfast. I have added chopped onions, mayo, salt and pepper. I will layer the bread with lettuce and put the egg mixture on top. Here's our lunch box ready. Egg sandwich for breakfast, chicken and veggie stir fry with steamed rice, some grapes and watermelon juice. For our breakfast, we are having a Bombay sandwich which is basically a base of butter and green chutney along with slices of boiled potato, sliced onion, tomato and capsicum. I am going to make some green chutney with the remaining mint leaves from yesterday. I have used mint leaves, coriander leaves, some garlic cloves, green chilies and lemon juice. It's a very simple recipe yet very tasty. If you haven't tried this yet, you should. This gets done in few minutes and is very fulfilling too. On rare days, we can have our breakfast and sip in our coffee in peace. Today Zain took a nap since he woke up very early. Time to finish a big pending task and that's skipping away the dried laundry. I haven't been doing it on time and now look at this mountain. First task is to segregate the clothes, parts, mine, zanes and kayas. These are kayas ones so I'm going to take it to her room. These are zanes and I'm going to fold them properly and keep it where it stays. These are some Zane's shirts which needs to be ironed and since they are so small in size it doesn't make it cost effective to give them to the iron wala. Back to Kaya's room to finish what I left. And finally, these are mine. I have the least amount of laundry, I feel. <laughs> Rushing to make lunch. Today, I am going to make matar paneer and stuffed mirchi.
फॉर मेकिंग मटर पनीर आई हैव एडेड सम ऑयल टू द पॉट देन एडेड चॉप्ड अनियंस जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट टोमेटो पेस्ट अलॉन्ग विद सॉल्ट टर्मरिक रेड चिली पाउडर जीरा पाउडर कोरिएंडर पाउडर एंड सम गरम मसाला After that's done cooking lower the flame and add some besan to it and then add the paneer and peas finish it off with some kasuri methi For the mirchi stuffing I have added some chopped onions and green chilies to the oil to that I will add boiled potatoes along with salt and haldi I will stuff the chilies with the potato stuffing and cook it in little oil till it's soft and brown. The pickle I made is also ready to use and also the sirka pyaaz. Here is our lunch ready stuffed mirchi matar paneer roti rice mixed veg pickle and onions After we were done with lunch I had to get back to work the dessert I made yesterday with sabudana and mango is ready to be eaten it's 4 now and we had lunch at 2 but since I didn't sleep well last night I had to take a nap for an hour hopefully I can work late tonight again the dessert was very tasty if you like this kind of desserts you should give this a try it's very easy and very refreshing for summers There are times I'm stuck with some edits and more technical stuff that I'm unable to resolve and I have to call part to help me out with that. So that's all about my shooting and editing part. All I can say is the kind of videos I make is a very difficult genre to choose and it needs a lot of patience. It's the next day and we went out for a grape harvest festival that happens every once a year. Few of my friends were also coming with their kids who were among Kaya's girl gang. So she was very excited about the whole scene. The place is called Big Banyan. You can look it up online. Everyone was so engrossed in collecting grapes because it was a competition about who can collect the most and the winner would get a prize. The kids were the most enthusiastic. They put their hearts in winning. They worked so hard for it. These were basically the grape farms where we could harvest the grapes. By the way, the most interesting part of it all was the grapes stomping. There were lots of grapes laid on the ground and it looked amazing.
there was a buffet the spread was good with wine basically unlimited food and drinks there was live music and a dance floor too everything was outdoor and that was the best part the kids had a really good time including zain because there was so much of free space for him to run around With this let's end this video here that's all for today sorry for the delay with this one i hope i can post sooner this time thanks for watching till the end take care bye